Hi guys, this is Michael, and today this is another episode of Pinoy Unboxing. Uh, pretty much what we have to do here is to unbox this four. One, two, three, four. These are four keyboards from Ducky. These keyboards are pretty much limited editions. And the limited edition, as you say, they are yellow Ducky keyboards. This, uh, these are actually full printed uh, keyboards that are um, painted in yellow. So what we're going to do here is to unbox the four, but this video will uh, focus only on unboxing these two at the top, which are 10 keyless. These Ducky yellow keyboards are actually with different kind of switches. What I have here uh, are one um, uh, white switch and three blue switches. And uh, these two here at the bottom are pretty much the full keyboards, means to say it has the numpad. And these two at the top here doesn't have the, num the numpad and uh, that's what you call as 10 keyless. Okay, so let's go ahead and unbox this two. Let me get one box first to, uh, to open up okay so pretty much if you look at the box here um, you have the Ducky logo and it's a dominant black box with yellow strips at the side at the side here you would be able to see what type of switch uh, the um, customer has purchased actually my client Jude uh, wants a blue switch for this keyboard so as you can see, the same thing, keyboard, uh, Ducky uh, logo here at the back with the serial number and uh, manufactured or made in Taiwan, the dimensions, weight, interface, and origin of production. So that's it. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox. The side here, you can see that uh, there's the uh, Ducky website, uh, www.duckychannel.com.tw for Taiwan. Okay, so of course, this is pretty much a simple box, uh, just a brown box inside with the user manual and with the warranty card. Of course, for a traditional Ducky keyboard you should be able to see a modular USB cable which would plug in at the USB uh, port at the back of your computer and the other one would plug in to uh, the back of this keyboard so this is a modular design you should also see that there is a keycap remover so uh, this keycap remover if you want to remove the keys of the keyboard uh, you could use this one and uh, since you have a keycap remover of course you will have extra keycaps here which is for the W A S and D for gamers so the arrow keys in that case all right so those are the accessories that uh, came in with the keyboard so uh, the keyboard is inside here so let me go ahead and remove this Okay, let me go ahead and pull out. So, here we go. We have here the yellow Ducky keyboard. This uh, yellow Ducky keyboard is printed, and uh, as you can see, uh, not really printed, but uh, it has a laser engraved on the keys. So uh, pretty much if you want to zoom in, uh, I believe you should be able to see that the keys are pretty much uh, printed here. Okay, so let's set this aside first and I'll show you another keyboard. It's practically the same keyboard as I have opened on the first one. But this one, it doesn't have a laser engraved or a print on the keys. This is still the 10 keyless version, Ducky Yellow. And uh, this is just different because you don't have any print on uh, the keys. So of course, same thing, warranty card, warranty information, and then the user's manual. And uh, same thing, 
we've got the USB modular cable, we've got the keycap remover, and we have the um, WASD extra keycaps. Okay, let's remove the keyboard again. Okay. That's it. All right. Now this one is different from the other one that I have unboxed. Looking at it closely, you should be able to see that you don't have any prints nor engrave on the keyboard. This is with blank keycaps. So if you're not familiar in using a keyboard, then this is not the right keyboard for you. You should be able to know then this uh, keyboard. So this is what you call a stealth keyboard. Because if you don't know your, uh, you don't know where the keys are, then most likely if you type in your password, then it's gonna be wrong. Okay, let's go ahead and compare this one side by side. At the top portion, you should be able to see that the keys are engraved, and we have here at the bottom portion blank keycaps. Okay, let's go ahead and test this out. This, by the way, are backlit keyboards. Let me go ahead and uh, take a USB cable and plug it in to my USB port at the laptop. And let me check one more USB cable here so that we could test simultaneously the two keyboards. Okay. Just bear with me first, guys. Okay. Let's do this. First keyboard, you just have to plug in uh, the other end at the back of this one. Okay. By default, it will light up uh, F1, F5, and uh, scroll lock. Okay. Just hold on. I have another keyboard here first. I'll plug in another one. The back of my laptop. Uh, all right. Let's see. There we go. This is the non-printed, and this is the um, uh, the printed one. Okay, hold on, because it's uh, with the pre-default settings. Uh, let me just go ahead and do. Function F10. Function F10. Hold on. Okay. Function F10. Function F10. Okay. Function F10. Okay. So here, uh, here's a, the keyboard. At the top portion, this is with the printed or uh, or laser engraved key keycaps. At the bottom portion, we have the uh, non-printed blank keycaps. Okay, as so you can see again, it's uh, the 10 keyless keyboard. Uh, we don't have a numpad here. Okay, now uh, we'll we'll base it on the user manual. So uh, pretty much what you you can do is to adjust the brightness is to hold the function and the uh, up uh, up key. And then uh, to lower down uh, the brightness is function and then the down uh, key. All right. So same thing with the other one. Function up, function down. Okay. That's it. All right. So let's go ahead and check what are the features of this keyboard. Uh, we can play around with uh, the settings. So uh, first of all is that. Uh, if I look into uh, this one, just give me some time first. Okay, so first, this is Chinese. Okay, here. Um, first time is 100% the, the LEDs are illuminated. Second time, if you do a function F10, it would be a breathing mode. So function F10 is going to be breathing mode. So... As you can observe, that the brightness is uh, adjusting. Then hold on, I don't have. Oh, 
Okay. This is the um, breathing mode. As you can see, it's breathing because the lights are uh, pretty much are adjusting. It's uh, to uh, it's um, with brightness. It's gonna be like it's gonna get brighter and then it's gonna get darker. Uh, that's pretty much the our breathing mode. Third time is gonna be a wave marky mode. So if I press function F10, it's gonna be a wave marky mode. As you can observe, it's like uh, doing a wave pattern. See, it's a wave pattern from left to right. That's the uh, wave marky mode. The fourth time is gonna be a snake marky mode. So if I do function F10 again, function F10, you should be able to see that the lights are going back and forth, which is like you are playing a classic snake game on a Nokia phone. An old Nokia phone in that case. Uh, next one would be uh, reactive mode. It's going to be a fade effect. So if I do function F10 again, function F10, if you're going to press one key here, it will go ahead and fade. See that one? So that's going to be the case. So same thing with this one. So if you press it will fade the LED light would fade see the difference okay now that's actually the um, what's this reactive mode fade effect six time is gonna be a ripple mode function F10 function F10 if you're gonna type it's gonna ripple its way see so it's like you're dropping a stone on a pond and then it will have an effect so just one key here it will have an effect so that's the ripple mode that's it okay and the last one would be the aurora mode so if you do a function F10 again the aurora mode is like a ripple mode as well however it's just one line so if you press on this it will have a ripple effect all throughout but it's just on the line itself so see that's it so that's that's the Aurora effects if you're gonna type that's gonna be the case okay so uh, and a time uh, LEDs are gonna be off function F10 function F10 okay and which you have you're left with uh, F1 F5 and scroll lock I think we are done with the unboxing video of these two keyboards. These are two Docky limited edition yellow keyboards. And these are um, 10 keyless keyboards. I mean to say without, um, what's this? Uh, with, without the uh, uh, numpad at the uh, side. So uh, pretty much it's uh, a really nice keyboard and it's uh, worth like around 7,000 pesos I believe so uh, I forgot the uh, price but uh, you just have to prepare uh, 7,000 pesos uh, we only have limited stocks here in the Philippines we have eight stocks you can purchase this one at our store at strategic, uh, strategic technologies our Facebook fan page by the way is facebook.com slash strategic.technologies we also have a website at uh, uh, www.strategic-technologies.net and uh, for Pinoy Unboxing we have also a website at www.pinoyunboxing.com and the Facebook fan page is uh, Pinoy Unboxing uh, which is uh, facebook.com slash Pinoy Unboxing so anyway guys I think this should be the end of our unboxing video and this is Michael and uh, just go ahead and visit our fan page or our website and if you want to purchase this one you could uh, go ahead and uh, go to our uh, Facebook fan page strategic dot technologies so uh, this is again the docky yellow keyboard shine 3 and 10 keyless limited edition thank you very much and do have a great day